What is up, Cratics? In this video, I'll be talking about this week's Quadruple Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for May 19th through May 25th, 2022. So firstly, the bookmark jobs not showing up and playlists are still broken. Again, this is only a PS5 issue and is yet to be fixed at the time of this recording. Now, Rockstar has confirmed that it will take a downloadable update for this to be fixed, so I will stop bringing it up every week until it is finally fixed. The next time you hear me talk about it, it will be when it's finally fixed, hopefully before the next major DLC, because that's a long time to not be able to play any other <laughs> friends' jobs and stuff. And for those of you on old gen, they did put out an update on Tuesday, and for those of you on old gen, they did put out an update on Tuesday, but it wasn't anything exciting. It was just an update to patch some glitches that would crash your game. But anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the Coquette Classic. So this car is primarily based on the Corvette C2. And it's a normal price of $665,000. But anyways, to get this car for free, you have to place top three in a Pursuit Series race for three days in a row. Now usually I'm not a fan of these days in a row requirements, but honestly three days in a row isn't too bad in comparison to the five days in a row that they usually try to put for these. Now in terms of performance, the Coquette Classic doesn't really handle all that well at all. However, it's very quick in a straight line, the way it should be for an old American car like this, but anyways, in terms of the test ride vehicles for this week, we have the Casco, the Gauntlet Classic, and the Beater Dukes. And for next-gen console players, we have the Karen S95 as the HSW test ride car for this week. Now, in terms of the Casino Podium vehicle, we have the JB700W. So this car is primarily based on the Aston Martin DB5. And this one being the weaponized version has a normal price just under $1.5 million, which is definitely a very expensive car. Now this one is in the Sports Classics class, but this is the weaponized version, so it's not usable in races. Even though, ironically, this car's stock doesn't actually come with any weapons, you actually have to buy them at the customs as upgrades separately, so the JB700W is not a W until you actually upgrade it kind of weird but anyways overall this car is still a fantastic vehicle and one that i highly recommend trying to get if you're a fan of the james bond series and don't own one already so starting off with the property discounts we have 30 percent off the auto shops which is awesome and other than the obvious business aspect of this property for those of you who don't know if you're a brand new player and you don't have certain performance upgrades or paint jobs unlocked any vehicle you customize in your auto shop actually has all those upgrades unlocked and paint jobs which is just incredible especially if you're a new player or maybe you're starting a new character this is a great thing to know for sure and has helped me personally on my ps4 account which i had to start with a brand new character because when you transfer to new gen it deletes the old one but yeah it's been a big help to have this auto shop property if you have a brand new character Moving on to the vehicle discounts, and quite possibly this is one of the best vehicle discounts event weeks that we've had in a very, very long time. So we have 40% off the Itali RSX. This is one of the best cars for sports car races in terms of performance, alongside the Pariah and the Itali GTO. However, if you're on next gen, depending on the track, the S95 with the HSW upgrades can be faster again very track dependent next up we have 30 percent off the br8 so this is currently the fastest car for open wheel races so definitely pick one up this week if you don't own one already moving along we have 30 percent off the emiris which is one of the best vehicles for supercar races however if you're on next gen the hsw weaponized ignis and the cyclone 2 are faster Next up, we have 40% off the Divest 8. So this vehicle is useful for both old gen and next gen because of its top speed it has, which is beneficial for supercar races with more top speed areas. So regardless of what platform you're on, make sure to get the Divest 8 if you don't own one already. Moving along, we have 30% off the Italian GTO. 
And regardless of platform, this is one of the fastest vehicles for sports car races, and another one that I highly recommend getting if you don't own it already. Next up we have 50% off, so half price on the Nightshade, one of the slowest vehicles in the muscle car class, which is definitely on the other end of the spectrum of the previous vehicles we just saw, but anyways, next up we have 40% off the Casco, and same situation here, this car really isn't all that fast in the Sports Classics class, and sadly doesn't have any visual customization options. However, it's a pretty fun car to drive with a great exhaust note as well. Moving on to the Severn San Andreas website, we have 30% off the Beater Dukes. So this of course is the Beater variant of the standard Dukes. However, once upgraded with all the repaired parts, this one actually does offer a few extra visual upgrades that make it a lot better than the standard one. However, do keep in mind that this version is slower than the regular one, but that doesn't really matter because this one has a lot better upgrades anyways, and the Dukes is nowhere near <laughs> the top performing muscle cars. Next up, we have 30% off the Gauntlet Classic, one of my personal favorite muscle cars in the class because of its styling, detail, and customization. It's just an all-around amazing car. However, it is pretty slow, so do keep that in mind. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the Ramp Buggy, one of the most fun vehicles to mess around with in free mode, where you can just go around ramping every single car in sight. Just an awesome and unique vehicle. Next up, we have 40% off the Phantom Wedge, pretty similar in concept to the Ramp Buggy, but this one doesn't really ramp vehicles as violently it sort of flips them out of the way. Moving along, we have 40% off the Blazer Aqua. So this, of course, is the ATV that basically turns into a jet ski for the most part. Now, when this vehicle first came out, it was very unique and awesome and useful in certain circumstances, but nowadays in GTA Online, I don't really see the purpose of owning it. And lastly, we have 40% off the Rocket Voltic which is, again, another one that's fun to mess around with in free mode as well, but vehicles like the Scramjet and the Toreador are just a lot better overall. Plus, do keep in mind that to own any of these four special vehicles, you need to own a special vehicle warehouse property. In terms of quadruple money, we have four times money NRP on special vehicle sun races, which is pretty cool and four times money NRP on regular land races as well, which is awesome. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on open wheel races, impromptu races, and the premium race for this week as well, which is the motorcycle race Art to Art. So, wow. If you're into racing in GTA, this is definitely the week for you. However, if you don't like racing in GTA or you're not that great at it, Unfortunately, there isn't double money on anything else this week. I feel like they should have done something else on double money, an adversary mode, mission, something to kind of balance it out. But again, this is definitely heavily focused on the racing community for this week. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts or Prime Gaming members only. So again, same as the last few months, the only thing we have is the usual free $100,000 for logging in during the event week period. And lastly, this week's RC Bandito time trial is Little Soul Park. This week's normal time trial is LSIA. I highly recommend a fast car such as the Pariah or one of the top motorcycles, or of course one of the HSW vehicles if you're on next gen. In terms of the premium race for this week, which again is paying off double money, we have the motorcycle race Art to Art. I highly recommend either the Shotaro or the Hakachu Drag for this race. And if you're on next gen, the only one you want to be using is the HSW Hakachu Drag. And lastly, for next gen console users, the HSW time trial for this week is Del Perro Beach. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag will be the best one for these. Every Friday, I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Divest 8. Regardless of what platform you're on, for supercar races that have higher top speed sections, the Divest 8 is dominant in those specific situations and needed if you're a serious racer in GTA Online. 
and at this price I think this is a great deal for this car. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall this event week is definitely heavily focused on the racing community with tons of great performing cars on sale, plus tons of races on quadruple and double money. However, it does seem to be lacking in terms of bonus money for players outside of the racing community. I really feel they should have thrown something in there, like I said earlier, in adversary mode or submissions, something, but again, this event week is definitely for the racing community this week. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.